Palmer's Alive Today presents... McCrory's. John Graham McCrory opened his first store in Scottsdale, Pennsylvania in 1882. By 1885 the chain had five stores in Pennsylvania. McCrory was known for his thrifty nature so much so that he legally dropped the E from his last name so he would not have to pay for extra letters on his store signs. One of the firm's policies was to acquire locations whenever property could be found at a reasonable purchase price. In November 1925 approximately two-thirds of its stores were leased with the remainder owned by a subsidiary the McCrory Realty Corporation. The retailer's gross sales approached $30 million by the mid-1920s when it operated 187 stores. With 244 retail units in its chain the company entered bankruptcy in January 1933. The company was dissolved but it was eventually re-established as McCrory Stores and resumed operations. One of the early investors was Sebastian Spurring Kresge who later founded the SS Kresge chain which became Kmart. In 1899 Kresge traded his interest in the McCrory's Memphis, Tennessee store for McCrory's interest in the Detroit, Michigan store giving him control there. In 1987 the Kmart Corporation sold its remaining Kresge and Jupiter stores in the United States to McCrory stores. At its height McCrory's operated 1,300 stores under its own name and as TGNY McClellan merged in 1958, HL Green Silvers GC Murphy JJ Newberry and Otasco which it had acquired through the years. McCrory's parent Rapid American also owned Lerner Stores and National Shirt, acquired by McCrory's in 1960. Mesh Ulam Rickless purchased McCrory in 1960 and merged it with the rival HL Green Company and moved its headquarters to Springettsbury Township, York County, Pennsylvania in 1963. At the time it was the fourth largest retailer in the United States. Rickless controlled McCrory's through the Rapid American Holding Company which was managed by Samuel Neaman. Rickless famed sleight of hand shifting assets between notable brand names successful companies and holding companies is best exemplified by his handling of McCrory stores driving the brand name into bankruptcy while keeping the assets. Among the retailers controlled by McCrory's at the time were Best and Company Learner Shops and S. Klein. On January 31, 1961 nine students from Friendship Junior College and Corps organizer Thomas Gaither were arrested when they refused to leave McCrory's after being denied service. All but one of those arrested refused to post bail opting instead to serve time. Organizers of the Freedom Rides and later protest campaigns adopted the jail no bail strategy to pressure city governments to end segregation. The company continued to thrive and grow during the 1960s and 70s. McCrory Stores purchased the 439-unit J.J. Newberry Company in 1972. It operated Newberry as a separate division and continued to open stores under the Newberry banner. On January 1, 1981 McCrory purchased the S.H. Cress & Company chain from Genesco. The 66-store chain once a fierce rival, was a natural fit for the variety store chain.
As the economic expansion of the 1980s progressed so did the successes of McCrory. They continued to expand and remodel stores as volume and profits grew exponentially. McCrory purchased the Oklahoma-based TGNY discount store chain in 1985. This proved to be a difficult transition for the company as the discount chain was not a natural fit for McCrory. Many of the stores were beyond the typical 10-15k SQ. FT footprint that the company operated in and the merchandise mix was very different. The TGNY stores were not profitable and drained McCrory of valuable assets. Many of of the TGNY stores were converted to the bargain time banner that McCrory operated and were closed as the 1980s came to an end. In 1987 McCrory stores purchased the 76 remaining Kresge and Jupiter stores from the Kmart Corporation which had long given up on the variety stores division reuniting the companies. All stores were converted to the McCrory banner. In 1989, McCrory Stores purchased the G.C. Murphy Company from Ames Stores. The sale included the remaining G.C. Murphy Stores and Bargain World Stores as well. In 1989 1,300 stores were operated by the McCrory Company. However as the decade turned, its fortunes decreased and by 1992 it filed for bankruptcy. The changing retail landscape including the migrating of shoppers from the inner cities to the influx of superstores such as Target and Walmart sealed the fate of the once mighty 5 and 10. Several rounds of store closures followed with one of the biggest coming in 1997 when McCrory's shuttered 300 of its last 460 stores. The company also converted some stores to their dollar zone format of dollar store but these closed in early 2002. In December 2001 McCrory stores announced the remaining McCrory's TGNY GC Murphy and JJ Newberry stores it was operating would begin liquidating and in February 2002 the company ceased operation. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.